Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. In this video tutorial, we're going to go over how to install a T5 HO or high output full spectrum light and similar models alike. I hope you can find this video instructional and helpful in your efforts to install them in your enclosures. Thank you. As we begin, I want to briefly go over some of the features included with this light. We have a general instructions. We have, these are not included, but I will provide them upon request. Half inch stainless steel screws, so we can screw these brackets to the ceiling. These are the ones that we will be using in this application, in this video. Right here directly we have the linking cord. One interesting aspect of this light is you can link multiple units together. We have the power cord. And this power cord does have one side where it connects to the power and one side is where that linking cord will connect to in order to link multiple lights. They call that, they call it an input and an output section. As we start, the easiest thing that I find to do is place the light before you screw anything in, find out where you want it. I know I want this one right justified so that we can have clearance and have some distance away from this opening on the left, which will have a screen in it where a heat lamp will most likely be placed. So I'm going to put this light more or less in the area where I'm envisioning where I want it. On this unit, I have this groove machined in the ceiling right here. So I have more of a guide in a space, a ruler tape measure. Those can be helpful in this process here to figure out where you want to have it centered and justified. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the light up, match up my brackets, with my pencil, I'm gonna make a slight mark where I'm gonna start, where basically screw in these brackets at. See, I make my first mark right here. Right there. I'm just estimating this, not an exact measurement. As long as it gets screwed in tightly and is spaced more or less where these clips are gonna grab it, you'll be perfectly fine. Now I can place these tabs, or they're actually clips, over the little marks that I've basically scribbled in with my pencil. And then from there we can actually screw them in. So I'm gonna line these little clips up just to get a good visual on it. As you can see, once they're screwed in, the light fixture is gonna snap into place like that. We can kind of see how we want it. Then what we're gonna do right here Lay them out again after I moved them. Very soon we will start to screw these in. So right here we have the half inch stainless steel screwed that I can provide if you guys want these. Screw it into that spot right there. Secure it. Put one on each side. And then with a, I use a micro impact or even a low power drill, you don't need anything too crazy. We can screw these brackets in. Let's go to the back of the enclosure now and let's open up our cord access. There's a square punch out drilled with the CNC machine that allows us just to basically connect the dots with the flathead screwdriver, which I find is easiest to do. And we connect the dots and this little piece is going to pop out and that's going to allow us to be able to run our cords in and out of the cage without having to do any drilling. Let's go ahead and get an inside view of the enclosure. Right there, we have the porthole or a knockout. You can see we have our space right here. We're gonna screw these little tabs in. We're gonna clear this screen on the left. That's why you did it justified towards the right. We have plenty of space to utilize all this light. These are general guidelines. It doesn't have to be done exactly how I'm doing it. You can place the light however you want. Get creative with it. Ladies and gentlemen, as easy as this, screwing the tabs in, so you can just pop the piece in. We've run the cord through the back. All we have to do now is plug it in, and we have a functioning light. Just as easy as that. I just want to make sure you guys didn't think you had to put it exactly where I put the light in this enclosure. Honestly, 
every application is going to possibly be different in my opinion. You're going to have a different structure in the cage. You're going to want to light separately or differently. So the light placement is going to change as you go. We decided to just put a, a plant here just for reference to show what the cage looks like with the light lighting up something other than just the bare floor. So we just put a plant in there just reference. 